Hello and welcome back. So in this video, we're going to talk about how we can use the custom function in the templates and how we can adjust that custom function to this function map. So first of all, we need to make that custom function and I'm going to make that somewhere. I'm making it here func and I'm naming it, for example, custom string like that, anything. Now here, the parentheses and the curly braces, but right here, some parameters I want to pass like string, para, anything I can pass like that. And the type should be string and here, the function type should be string again. Now I'm going inside and I'm going to make some kind of functionality here. Now here we are telling whatever the data we are get through the string para should be something like para equals to strings dot trim left and here is tr para now what's happening here here we are we are using the strings function trim left and here it is the string para and we are getting the data uh, into the string para of the string para into the trim left and whatever the result we are getting we are saving it again to these str para, string para. Okay, that's awesome. Now here, now how much trimming I want, I'm writing here something like str para equal to str para and I'm writing here two. Only two words, characters from the left side I want to be trimmed. And then what we are returning, we are returning the str para return. Okay, now after the conversion and everything, we are again returning the same thing with actually it's not the same thing. It's a variable we received, but then we've updated a lot of things from it. And we are now returning something which is a, an updated form. Anyway, we we did it. And now we are going here to the func map uh, which is here and adding a comma again and str sorry str3 it is still will use the same method like that and then the string sorry we do not need write to need to write the strings here what was the name of that function we've created um let me double check that okay the custom string what if we write the custom string func so it would be looking like a function or custom str func that fascinated a little more okay so this is a function i've just created and i'm adding that function here custom str func and a comma and now i'm going here and to the to which one I'm gonna do that I'm not applying the str1 anymore I'm applying the str3 to the name and I'm going here and just testing this up out not enough arguments uh, trim left here go back um, I need to look what is the wrong thing we did okay I've used a wrong method here I need to delete that actually um, here you can see that it needs more arguments the trim left needs more arguments so I need to add a comma but still we just can practice what we we are doing here but it won't be that much effective because the trim left needs some strings for example if any of the value has something like J O or S H A okay so here the only name my name Shahzeb Kamal has the SHA at the left side so it will be automatically deleted and this would be return str para so after deleting these things the str para would be returned and automatically here instead of this name that str para would be printed so I'm going here and testing this up again and here you're gonna get that the, you can see that s is formatted actually h a okay now I got it why only s is formatted because however v was getting that capital but it's not capital anymore okay and we are looking for the capital word so 
the H A are the smaller letters. Here, if you see the data in the data, the only S is capital. Okay, so I'm doing this again, and now more matching, more cutting. Now we can see that only Zayb Kamal because S H A, and then the H is again here because H is just before the Zayb. There is one more H. So both of them has been cutted. So this is how the funk para works. I think it is pretty simple. You can make your own. You can even, uh, for example, you can return something like just an example five. You can even return five or any value you want to return. And okay. Oh, I see. I see. You just cannot use the uh, text. Be, uh, sorry, the integer type because it's a string. So for example, hello world. Saving it and just going here and uh, it's processing you can see that hello world and his grade hello world and his grade why because it's a function we received the data but instead of sending the the result we just sent the some manual text so this is how it works i'm returning the str para again i think it's simple you just need to make practice and practice because the custom functions can be very handy at many positions so in the next video, we're going to talk about something more. Till then, stay tuned.